హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ సమగ్ర శిక్షా సిద్ధిపేట్ ప్రెజెంట్స్ ఆర్ వర్ల్డ్ త్రూ ఇంగ్లీష్ క్లాస్ సిక్స్ యూనిట్ ఫోర్ పేజ్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ ఏ రీడింగ్ అన్ అడ్వెంచర్ లెట్స్ గో సెట్ సీమా ఆర్ ఇట్ విల్ బి టైమ్ ఫార్ లంచ్ బిఫోర్ వీ నో ఇట్ ఎస్ Let's go towards the old temple, said Arun, her cousin. As always, they had come to Vishnupur on a vacation to their grandparents. It was a small quiet town surrounded by green hills and some ancient ruins. They particularly loved Page 49 going for walks and spent hours exploring the old temple in a fort nearby sometimes they pretended to be rulers of an ancient kingdom at other times they played hide and seek catch me if you can shouted arun and he ran ahead i'll catch you in a minute replied seema as she followed arun was soon out of sight as he went round the corner seema knew his favorite hiding place and smiled to herself thinking he won't escape me She ran down the hill towards the old temple where she knew Arun would be hiding but he wasn't there he must have gone to the cave she thought this was another favorite place for them a cave hidden behind some creepers Arun i am here Seema called out as She reached the cave. There was no reply. Seema could not see anyone. She was about to enter the cave when she caught sight of a piece of torn, crumbled paper on the ground. She picked it up and unfolded it out. How odd! It had letters c l p written on it just then she heard arun calling out seema where are you here said seema to arun who was standing at the entrance of the cave i was looking for you what have you got in your hand asked arun It's nothing just a piece of paper with CLP written on it said Seema Don't throw it let me see it said Arun as he took the paper from her he looked at it carefully and said See if you look at the torn edge of the letter which could be an e and not a c do you think it could be help asked seema help my goodness someone is in trouble we must find him said arun page 50 or her added seema but where do we go there is no one in the temple and there is no one in the cave too let's try the mina bazaar there is a secret passage said arun excitedly mina bazaar was once a popular market for royal ladies but all that remained now was just a few crumbling walls A secret passage was connected 
to the market. They ran towards it. There they found a man with his hands and feet tied up. He had a gag on his mouth and was struggling to free himself. The children removed the gag and helped him free his hands and feet. Hurry, the man said. The smugglers will be back. They ran all the way through the secret passage. They were soon out of breath. Don't stop it, panted the man. They'll be back any moment. Soon they reached home. Their grandparents were surprised to see them. Now tell us who you are, Seema asked the man. And who tied you up, added Arun. And why, continued Seema. I'll tell you the whole story, but first call the police, said the man. The police arrived in no time. The man they had freed was a police officer in plain clothes. He was following a gang of smugglers who had caught him and tied him up. Before that, he had managed to write help on a piece of paper and had thrown it, hoping that someone would find it. They were going to kill me, but thanks to you, I am safe. We will now go and catch the smugglers, said the man. What an adventure! Wait till I tell my friends about it, said Seema. They'll never believe us, said Arun. That's enough, children. It's time for lunch, said Granny.